Hi, I'm Treasurer Dennis Milligan. I'd like to welcome our Kansans to our office in the state capitol to view the new Arkansas Military Veterans Hall of Fame that was recently unveiled. Thank you to our nation's finest, both past and present, who have fought for the freedoms we all enjoy today. Hugh Lewis Mills, Jr. Hughes Lewis Mills, Jr. was raised in Monticello in Hot Springs. He joined the Army as an enlisted infantryman in 1967, and he was soon selected for officer candidate school. Following his commission, he attended flight school and was awarded his Army Aviator Wings in 1968. He was assigned to the 4th Cavalry Squadron of the 1st Infantry Division, the Big Red One. In Vietnam, he was flying light observation helicopters and providing fire support for the ground infantry. During 1969, Lieutenant Mills earned four awards of the Distinguished Flying Cross for Heroism, and in November and December of that year, he earned three awards of the Silver Star Medal for Gallantry in Action in Close Combat Against Numerically Superior Enemy Forces. He flew as a scout platoon leader for 10 months and personally led the most dangerous of missions. His division commander, Major General A.E. Malloy, described him as, quote, the most courageous small unit leader in the division with the highest kill ratio of any combat unit in the Big Red One, unquote. Once he landed his OH-6 in the midst of a firefight and captured a North Vietnamese officer at gunpoint, earning him a Bronze Star for Valor in ground combat, a very rare honor for an Army aviator. Following a tour in Germany, he volunteered to return to Vietnam as a combat aviator where he continued his courageous exploits throughout 1971 and 1972. He earned two additional Bronze Star medals, three Purple Hearts, and over 70 awards of the Air Medal, with six of them being for personal valor, and seven awards of the Army Commendation Medal, all for valor. He authored a book in 1992 called Low Level Hell, A Scout Pilot in the Big Red One, which is still in print. He retired from active duty in 1993 as a dual-rated Master Army Aviator with over 9,000 rotary wing and 3,000 fixed wing hours. In 2011, he was inducted into the U.S. Army Aviation Hall of Fame and was inducted into the Officer Candidate School Hall of Fame at Fort Benning, Georgia earlier this year. His skill as an aviator and his personal bravery in unspeakably dangerous situations has been responsible for saving many hundreds of American soldiers. <laughs>